Hello and welcome back to my podcast, Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today I want to show you some select but without the using as functionality. This was a question sent in via Gmail at uh, QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com from uh, follower Saudan. So, Sao, here is the answer to your question of how we go about uh, some selecting but without using as. So I have my data set here. Uh, I have month and plant as my categories. I have metrics going across the top. And then I have some line item detail as far as sales go, month, and then plant ID and with the sales quantity. If I want to use a sum select statement here without using as, I need to go ahead and create a helper column in the line item detail. And how I do that is by concatenating both fields together that I would typically use using as with. So that would be with month and plant ID. So I'm going to call this column, I'm going to call it the lookup call, lookup helper, I guess, is what I'll name it. Okay. And lookup helper, I'm going to have it be equal to the month. And I'm going to add a separator here just to kind of help uh, keep the data stay, stay clean. And I'm going to use the pipe character. I don't know if you necessarily need to have a separator, I'd recommend that you do. It could be a comma, it could be a dash, underscore, whatever you like, but I like to use the pipe character. In my separators, I'd have month and then plant. With the separator, when I do that, go, go ahead and uh, calculates this lookup helper column down the array. And then if I want to uh, then sum the values of this using select, what I need to do is I'll rename metric three. I'll say, we'll call this sales without using as, if you will, okay? I'll double click and make that big enough to read. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to say select. And it's just a basic select statement. What do I wanna select? I wanna select sales. Uh, what is my key list? Well, it's gonna be the lookup helper column in this other matrix and what is my lookup value this gets maybe a little bit tricky but not really uh, what's my order i do month so i'm going to do at month i'm going to concatenate that with my separator and i'll do another concatenation and bring in at plant like so if i go ahead and i hit enter uh, you can see that it's pulling in 264 for plant A for uh, month one, 408 for, uh, for plant B in month, month one. But what I need to do is I need to aggregate that now, make sure I'm getting the totals if there's more than one entry in the sales database matrix, which there is. And once I wrap that in sum, you can see that now I am uh, getting the totals just as I would if I were to use using as or select sum with a using as, which is demonstrated by these other two formulas. So there you go, Saudon. That's the answer to your question about how you can uh, do a sum select without a using as. Just go ahead and create a lookup helper column, if you will, and then make sure your key is concatenated in the same order and in the same way within your uh, select statement. If you have any questions that you need answered with uh, Quantrix Modeler, feel, feel, feel free to post a comment on uh, my YouTube channel or send me an email directly at quantrixauthority at gmail.com or you can follow me at Twitter at Quantrix Author. I'd certainly love to hear from you and uh, try to help you with Quantrix because it is a powerful tool and I love Quantrix. Have a great day.